Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing my makeup with you guys, also my hair. I just clipped my extensions in so there's like literally like nothing here, we just like dead hair. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys a clothing haul with Petal and Pup. I have partnered with them in this video, so yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. So today I'm gonna be doing the makeup that I have been doing recently. I repeat myself so much, it's so annoying. I really have been liking this Caudalie, Caudalie um, moisturizer that I got sent a couple of days ago. I like it because it's very rich, but yet super moisturizing. And it feels like a little thicker when you pick it up, but then when you blend it in, it makes your skin feel like butter. I love me a good moisturizer. And then to set that in place, I'm going to be taking the Caudalie... Um, Beauty Elixir Spray. I really have been going in with this. It's so good. It has a little bit of like that old school like Vejita scent, but I don't mind it. I also like to go in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because it's like a sticky base. And it just helps the makeup adhere to the skin a lot better, especially depending on wearing your makeup all day long. So I like to run it in my fingertips and then I start by like tapping it into the skin. And then I'll go ahead and apply it pretty much everywhere. Even over my eyebrows, it helps tame them down a little bit. We do the eyebrows first or after? I think I'm gonna do them after. Let's move on with foundation. Going back with one of my favorites, the L'Oreal Infallible. It's so good. It's a lot thinner than the Maybelline Superstay. That's why I want it because it gives me the same look, but it's not as heavy. And then I'm gonna go in with my clean sponge from Ofra. And I'm just going to buff that, blend that all over the skin. Now for concealer, taking my Frankie Rose Cosmetics Concealer, it's like super like low-key, but I feel like a lot of people have not like tried this brand and I really like it. I've been using this concealer since like last summer and it's always one of my favorite ones that I always go to. It's very similar to like Shape Tape, but it's not as pigmented like once you like blend it out, but it gives me such a pretty look on my face. Like it's really thin and it covers super nicely and I am in the color Chai. As you can see, I go in with concealer, and again, I'll take that sponge and just blend everything out. It also blends so skin. I'm just a fan of the formula. And I'll go ahead and take the opportunity to apply it onto my eyelids. I like to go in with a little more concealer, but to make it a little brighter. So for that, I've been taking the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Bone. It's a lot lighter, but I only apply it like in the inner corner. It has a little bit of a pinky tone to it which corrects and brightens, so I really like that for that reason. And then I'll just focus that right in the inner corner of my eye, and it really brightens up the eye. I am very sad because I just ran out of one of my favorite loose powders from Kylie Cosmetics, the translucent one. I'm gonna see if there's anything left. I'm gonna tap it out, shake it real good. Whatever is left, I'm going to press it right in the inner corner. That's where I want the most coverage. The rest I could cover up with something else. Face is looking good. Now let's move on to the eyebrows real quick. Taking my Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo. This has been my jam. This is in the shade Medium Brown. Really having liking powder for my brows recently. So that's like about it for my eyebrows. Usually I will carve them out but lately I don't really care. Especially if I want more like a natural look. So this will do for now. And then I'll go in with this e.l.f. Brow Wax situation. It's like a wax pen which is so great and I use it instead of like a brow gel and I feel like it works better especially for the hairs up front. I like it to be a little more like feathered. I'm going to be taking this NARS Laguna Bronzer that I've always wanted and finally got it in PR. It's such a beautiful shade. I love me a good bronzer. And you guys know that I don't try out a lot of bronzers so the only ones that I use is either my Hula Bronzer my Fenty Beauty bronzer, and now this one from NARS. I'm just gonna apply that bronzer all over the eyelid, like on the crease, and then also like on the lid. Okay, so now we're gonna apply some bronzer, taking my Hula bronzer, the mini one. This actually lasts so long, like you guys don't even have to buy like the full size Hula bronzer. You just get the mini one, and I promise you it lasts a really long time. And I'll also take this time to contour the nose a little bit, and then tip of the nose so that it looks a little shorter. Now what I'll do is take my sponge and whatever is left, I'll go ahead and press it and just like make the middle and a little bit on the sides as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush, taking my MAC in the shade Grand. It's like a plush blush. It's like a cream to powder formula. I really love it. It's been like the one that I'm wearing most of the time. And then for highlight, I'm taking my Desi and Katie Fuego. It's like I'm always hitting pan. 
It's literally one of my favorite ones. So I just got done wiping off the sides of my nose. I'm still gonna let the top bake, but the highlight, the bronzer, the blush is done. Now it's time for the lips. I know a lot of you guys have been saying to do a different lip combo, cause like I've been at this lip combo for a while now, but I can't help it. I'm not ready to move on yet. I'm taking the KKW in the shade number two, the lip liner. And then I'm taking my lipstick and vision from a cosmetics. I've been going in with this one. Love that. And I'm not gonna apply any gloss because the lipstick, even though it's like a matte formula, it's super creamy. And now, because the nose is buffed out, we're gonna apply some highlight to it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Right here. There you go. Tiny, itty, bitty nose. And then a little bit on the sides. I've been doing this for like a minute now. So now the look is done. To finish it off, taking my Tot setting spray. Literally so good. I love it. And there we have it guys, this is my current everyday makeup look. So now we're going to be doing the hair. I'm gonna bring my hot tools and we'll be right back. First thing I like to do is spray the uh, New Day Mist 3-in-1 Style Refresh from Playa 3-in-1 um, spray. That just like revives the hair. It makes it really soft and just like more luscious and like manageable. You guys will see the difference in this side. And the other one so even if you don't want to like recurl your hair and applying this it kind of like brings your hair back to like its natural state so look at the difference if i didn't want to apply any heat to my hair i i would have no need to but it's like super nice and soft it's not nappy and stiff like this part right here so definitely such a good product like look at how pretty that looks and then usually now like i'm not gonna separate my hair because i don't want a lot of curls so I'm just going to do them as I go, but I'll just take like random pieces, mainly like the top, and then taking my T3 curling iron, this is like the smallest barrel, I'm going to create like softer curls, like nothing too crazy. Hold it for a couple seconds and let go. So something like this, just like a little bit of a bend. Pretty much rubbing my hair around three times. I don't start at the root, maybe like middle of my hair. And then I kind of like wiggle the barrel back and forth to give it a little bit of texture. And I kind of just like pull it down so it's not so like curly. I just want like the ends to have a little bit of a flip, you know? And then leaving the ends out, just a little bit will do. I mainly like to focus this technique like in the front of my hair. It's that's the part that I'm going to touch the most. And I want to like frame my face. So I'll leave it longer in the front pieces. So here in the front in my bangs, what I'm going to do, I'm going to curl it a little bit more up into my root. That way it lasts longer. And to smooth this out really quickly, be careful you don't burn your forehead doing this. I've done it plenty of times. And then we're going to just curl away from our face. As you can see, I'm bringing it a lot higher up than the other curls. So you guys see I barely added any more curls. I added maybe like four curls. And then now I'm not going to brush this out. I'm going to take a section from the inside. Just one section. I don't take... I don't always curl like my entire hair because I'm like, there's no need for that. This was gonna show, so I'll take like a little bit from the inside. That way, it's just so it's curled, and then again. So I do like maybe like five curls in total, like that. So I'm gonna leave this to set, and then move on to the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn off my curling iron because I really don't need it unless I need to let go over some pieces, which I don't need it to be too hot for that. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my fingers and just like run my hands through the curls. And I really want to like pull it down and hold it so it's not super curled. And it's just like a little bit of wave, nothing too crazy. And everything looks super nice and really like minimal. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Whey Finishing Cream. This stuff is amazing. It just really holds your hair in place. I took like a, a little bit. And then what I'll do, I like to run it like through the middle of my hair. Like not so much the roots. And it's going to ensure that like the curls, maybe like if you want this air right here to stay together. It just like molds the hair, so I like to apply it here on top of my bangs because it tends to like curl a little bit and I don't like that. And I just, or even if you get like little flyaways like here on the sides, you kind of just like twist them away. Or even back here, you know, so sometimes like if you wear extensions, the hair kind of separates. But if you have the pomade, it ensures that everything stays together. And voila, here we go. The hair is done, ready to go. You could always apply some um, dry shampoo, texturizing spray, but this is like two day old hair. So I just washed my hair yesterday, so I really don't need to 
apply all those products just yet but this will do for at least um, two days of me putting my extensions in and my hair looking exactly the same so that is it for the hair and makeup now let's go try on some new clothes see what I got and let's have some fun so now let's go ahead and get into the try on haul first I went ahead and tried on this super nice and cozy sweater it's really nice and heavy it does have pockets that I just now seen that. When I tried it on, I couldn't find them, but I love that it has pockets, so that is an extra. I like how heavy it is. It's super nice for like the winter, of course, but even now for the summer, I do like to wear sweatshirts with like a t-shirt, sweatpants, or even like a t-shirt and shorts, or even to take it to the movies, to dinner, to like a lunch, I feel like these are wearable all year round. I like the color. I like that it's gray because I can wear it with pretty much anything. And I'm just a sucker for anything fleece. I, I also went ahead and put on this super cute t-shirt. It says Saint Tropez on it. I like the graphic on it because it makes it look a little bit more luxurious. Also the sleeve. I like how they are tucked in and sewed in to a nice fold. I did get a size small because that way it's a little more fitted. I can wear it with pretty much anything. I feel like this with a bathing suit or even some shorts, some tennis shoes would be super, super cute. And I just like the quality because it feels like that thick, nice t-shirt that is going to last you a long time and it's going to be durable whenever you do wash it. Up next, I picked up another sweater. Another reason why I pick up sweaters is because even though where I live is pretty hot, I live in Florida, um, I like to wear nice clothes, especially when I'm filming or when I have to go to events or online meetings or whatever. I like to have clothes that are presentable even though I do work from home. So I really love this minty top. I feel like it's just very chic and really like ladylike. And I like the sleeves on it, the like three quarter sleeves. I feel like it's like kind of like a mom shirt, but I'm here for it and I just love me a good soft knit sweater situation but I also love how it fits it's more like a professional shirt you know what I'm saying up next I couldn't resist to pick up this turquoise teal blue sweater I love that it's actually a crop sweater so it looks a little bit more trendy more edgy and one of my favorite parts about it is not only the crew neck I like a high neck on my sweaters but I like this sleeve they're like bell sleeves which means that they like get longer as the arm goes out but they cuff at the wrist so I love me some pastels and just colorful items that I can also wear with like neutral clothes so again you can wear it with some sweatpants you can wear this with like some nice jeans a skirt the possibilities are endless so I really do love it for those reasons up next I was in need of a white sweater and when it comes to sweaters I like to have them not to like oversize or I like to vary my sweaters because of course like I said where I live is hot so I do like finding sweaters that I can wear all the year round so this one I love that it's a deep v-neck so even though I'm wearing something that's a little bit more oversized it's not really shaping my body I'm still able to show some cleavage makes it a little bit more feminine I like the sleeves how they just hug my wrist really nicely and I also like the detail in the back because it gives it more of a feminine thing you don't have to wear a bra with it if you don't want to which I probably won't but you could always do like a strapless bra and that will do just fine as well up next is a shirt that I'm actually wearing right now it's probably like the piece it's probably like the the item that I'm probably gonna wear the most at home and also going out I like how thin it is so even though the fabric is a little bit more cottony um, it's still breathable and it's super comfortable I do like how it shapes my breast area because it gives it that little sexy look Turning a little bit of cleavage, you know, nothing's wrong with that. And I just love how it fits at my waist. I am obsessed with it. I need this shirt in every color. Again, I just love for like really cozy pieces. And I also love the nude color because it's just like what I want. It's just all nude, everything neutral. Up next, we have a two-piece number that I used to have many of, but I feel like the trend with two pieces have changed a lot. Before it was like a crop top and like a jumpsuit, but now I want to be a little bit more older, more sophisticated. So I picked out this all black two-piece. It's a nice knit top with a nice knit long sleeve skirt. And the reason why I like this set as well is because I can also wear it with other items. I can swap out the top with bottoms and make my own outfits as well so I have more possibilities so especially taking this like on vacation it's so nice because you have more like alternatives to wear it with so um, I did get a extra small and small it does run a little big but I feel like once you wash it it might like shrink up a little bit and then the last outfit that I'm just like so obsessed with like you know when you see it online you're like I really like it it's really cute and then you put it on and you're like wow it's so much better than what I thought it would look like I am so happy with how it fits on my body I did pick up this size medium 
because small sometimes it's a little snug on me and just by looking at the picture I could tell it's gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a more snugger um, fitted piece so I'm so happy I got the medium the top is a little big but you can always adjust it like I did with the straps but the skirt is what had me like shook because it has this nice pattern it goes down the leg a nice little slit so you're getting a lot of like different like styles in one again you could always swap out the top and the skirt for other outfits and I think I'm gonna wear this for my birthday because my birthday's coming up and I want to look like you know a hot 25 year old so definitely I'm so excited about this and I know they want to go for like vibrant colors but their selections were so cute and I feel like the colors that I got are really trendy right now and I just I just I'm all for a colorful palette right now so definitely this is like I feel like it's almost like super designer because of how it fit and the skirt is just like unreal so I definitely loved all the pieces that I got and then last but not least we got some sunnies that I forgot to wear while trying things on I was just so focused on the clothes but I have been in the hunt for some all black like vintage 90s like sunglasses so I really like the frame of these they're nice and thick they don't really move around and I feel like I can wear this with literally any outfit so i love the vibe and i like how black they are as well so yeah guys that is it for this video i hope that you guys like this get ready with me and also try on haul with these new pieces if you like more videos like this please let me know give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel so you're notified whenever i make new videos i will have all the products that i use from the hair the makeup and also all the clothing items that i tried on down below in the description i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun filming it for you guys so so until next time with your besitos y abrazos and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys